So I'm doing the Odin Project Foundations course right now, and in this video, I wanna give you my thoughts on the course and my three main takeaways to help you decide if you should do this course as well if you're learning how to code. So to start off, I wanna say that I'm still in the middle of the Foundations course, and I still thought it was a good idea to do this review as I'm going through the course because everything is more fresh in my mind, and I thought it would help me give a good perspective to someone else who is thinking about doing this course. Overall, I think this course has been fantastic so far. I think it gives a very great high-level understanding of the concepts of what computer science and programming is, all the way down to specific details about how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work. Right now, I've gone through the HTML section and I'm currently on the CSS section and then JavaScript will come up next. But I feel like I have a really good understanding of how everything works together and then eventually that will come together to actually make web development projects that I wanna do down the line. So my first takeaway with the course is that it definitely is harder to get started with. And what I mean by that is that it really throws you in the deep end right at the beginning. A lot of online resources will actually have you code in the browser so that you don't really have to set up anything locally on your machine. You can follow the tutorial, enter the code right on the website and get your results and then move on with the exercises. The Odin project doesn't do this at all. It makes you set up a local environment, choose your IDE, in this case they go with VS code, and even gets you started out with Git and your GitHub account so that you can commit changes and push them to your own repo. This can be a lot to start out with and very overwhelming for beginners, which is what the consensus is online. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. But for me personally, I think this is a great idea and a great way that anybody should learn how to code. Eventually, you're gonna have to make your own local environment and create your code somehow on your own local machine. So it's better to have that understanding when you start out because you're kind of a blank slate. So the Odin project really pushes you in that direction and it may take more time initially, but I think that that time up front is gonna be worth dividends as you go down your coding journey. My second takeaway is the content itself, which I think has been very comprehensive up to this point. The Odin project is text-based, so there aren't any videos built in, but what they do do, <laughs> do do, that's funny. What they do is they also link to videos and resources outside of the website. So you may be reading something about, you know, how HTML forms work or how CSS specific styling works. And then what they'll do is link you to a video on another website that goes through a little bit more detail of that specific topic. Or they may link you to an article from an outside source. I think this is good and bad. For me personally, I don't mind leaving the website and going to a separate source, but I can see this becoming a little bit annoying or frustrating or just a lot to deal with if you're trying to have an all-inclusive course and it continuously links you to outside websites to get more information. I think you really have to be okay and fluid with the way you learn. And if that's not your style and that's totally okay it may be better for you to go through a video course and not do the Odin project but for me personally I really enjoy that there are lots of different resources and I can kind of pick and choose what I want and on top of that, at the end of each section, once you've done all the required things, there's additional resources. So if there's a topic that I didn't fully understand or I wanna learn more about, I can click on those additional resources and get further insight into what that topic is about or just better explanations because I wanna learn more about something. My third takeaway about the Odin Project is the social component, which they solve in two main ways. The first of which is Discord. When you start the course, you're able to join the Odin Project's Discord community, and this is really great because learning how to code can be very overwhelming, especially if you're doing it alone. When you join the Discord, you get access to everyone else who's doing the project with you and going through the courses. And this is not only good just from a social standpoint in that you see others going through the same thing that you're going through, but if you have questions or don't understand something, you can always message in the Discord and someone will try and help you. I think everybody's super nice in the community and you're gonna get that feedback if you do ask for it. Of course, you wanna be mindful and not just constantly ask questions. And when you do ask questions, you wanna provide the right type of insight and input into your code. But if you do it in the right way, I think having that Discord community there to learn from is a huge added benefit. So the second part of the social component is actually being able to see other people's code. So when you actually go through the course itself, there are checkpoints that you reach where you have to build something based on whatever you've just learned. So for example, on the HTML side, the very first project you do is building a recipe site. And this is really great because you get to use what you've learned and actually put it into practice. But on top of this, once you finish that recipe, you actually get to see other people's code that they've uploaded to the site. 
and you can see not only their code, but you can click to see the actual output of their code and what their website looks like. And this is really useful because it shows that, you know, what other people are doing and how they're solving a specific problem. But on top of that, sometimes when you see the output of someone else, they've actually gone a little bit above and beyond and added a functionality to the website that wasn't required in the project itself. So that actually might intrigue you and pique your interest and you can add more functionality to your own project. I find this a great way to learn, you know, little tricks and tips from other people because I think that the best way to incorporate things in your own code is to see how it's done in other places and then you can take bits and pieces and adapt it to your own style. So that's been something that I've really, really enjoyed about the Odin project and something that I hope to continue to do as I go through the rest of the course. So those are my three main takeaways from the Odin project. Honestly, so far the course has been great and I've been learning a lot. I really enjoy going my own pace and being put in the deep end right from the beginning, and I've been able to learn a lot from the other people who are also going through the course. So I'm really excited to continue on with this, and if you wanna learn more and are interested in kind of my journey of learning how to code, you can definitely watch this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.